So this really does seem like an elusive win-win-win intervention. We were able to make improvements by reducing emissions, which would give us health benefits, reducing global warming, and reducing costs. Traditional brick kilns in South Asia are a major source of particulate matter with a diameter of less than 2.5 microns, which is so small that when it's inhaled, it can pass into the bloodstream. Those are just bad for people. They cause pneumonia. Um, when people breathe them in, they cause cardiac disease. They cause premature death. Here are these folks that are making bricks that actually are a cornerstone of the building boom that is driven by the growth in the economy and the growth in the population. So uh, really important for the country and really troubled by their reputation as major polluters. You need a diverse group of expertise in the team. You need a young, dynamic people to deal the field issues. You need the experienced people in the team who can deal many complex issues. At the same time, you need the people who has local expertise and understand the local context. We led with anthropologists from our local partner, ICDDRB, who I've been collaborating with for over two decades. We had to really talk to a lot of people to try to understand that perspective, to understand the system of incentives, why people were doing what they were doing. Our team developed a technical package, which we now refer to as ZigZag 2.0, which includes a suite of modifications to standard ZigZag kiln operations. We had the kiln workers change the way they stacked bricks, so the bricks were farther apart. And by having the bricks farther apart, you improve airflow into the kiln. And we had them add some more just ash on top of the kiln, which improved insulation. We also had them add the coal in smaller volume, so if you will, smaller shovels at more frequent intervals. If you notice here, none of these cost money. It's just a change in practice. So we did a randomized control trial of nearly 300 kilns in Western Bangladesh. And what we found was that the kilns who adopted these improved management practices were able to make 100,000 bricks using and burning 23% less coal. You see that it improved the efficiency of the people, it reduces the cost, it reduces the pollution in terms of reducing the carbon dioxide emission, reducing the other pollutants. Overall, we saw just incredible interest in these interventions. And this is you know, in quite the contrast to past approaches that have been focused on modern technology that's really expensive and also hard to use, requires a lot of skilled labor and parts from outside of the country. And so this represents a really different path forward.